I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. And together we're Our Time in the Mud. And today we're gonna show you your favorite stuff. You don't even know that it's your favorite stuff yet, but it will be. And it could be to your house in two days. Or less. <laughs> we are talking about our Amazon favorites. These are things that we have recently ordered and are loving from Amazon. Uh, we do work really hard to shop small and local mm -hmm. as much as possible, but there are just some times where you can't find it or you want it right fucking now. I mean, just a reminder, I don't know if you know, Danielle and I went to Italy together. Italy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, best trip we've ever been on. Best, just, it's, it was best of best. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the things that... <laughs> One of the things that we both went out and purchased separately from each other, having no discussion about it, was a handy dandy fanny pack or a hip pack. I did never plan to wear it anywhere near my fanny, um, but mm. I just felt like, so we were going to Rome, which people always talk about, is notorious for pickpocketing. Um, I have no interest in being stolen from, so I went ahead and put my goods, uh, you know, in just the safest place possible, which is right between my breasts. I agree. Uh, like, I dare you try and get in this bag because my hands are free right oh god that's also the best thing i like didn't understand this trend when it first started obviously this is a lululemon bag dupe um that i got and i actually bought two of them just to check the quality they were both great they both are very very similar um i would love to buy them in other colors because now i god i love going to like the grocery store like running errands with one yes. because then you don't one you don't have to keep track of anything like you don't have to worry about getting like taken out of your shopping cart or whatever right. like at costco and shit when you're like oh i see something way over there but i don't want to take this giant double wide cart with me 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 and it's a random i mean this one has almost no style almost no design to it it's just very functional and it's a little bigger. little bigger um and then back here there's a fleece lined pocket so if you wanted to put your phone in there it would keep it nice and protected under twenty dollars the brand of mine is zorfin sounds like a wizard yeah i think i paid under i definitely paid under 20 i think one of them might even have been 12.99 and i should probably show you yeah adjustable very strap adjustable clippy um, like just really yeah. utilitarian. Yes. Um, mine's got the main pocket, which, and then it has two like credit card mesh pockets up front, a bigger pocket in the back, perfect for like a lip gloss. And then in the back, it has another zippered pouch, which I liked to keep my credit cards in this one because then they're literally like up against my body. Mm -hmm. Um, and then everything else went in the big pouch. Yeah. Love it. So mine are built in little credit card slots. I've got the mesh pocket over here and then just a pretty big center guy yeah. this one was sort of like a gag Teddy needed a new harness his, his harness is just getting kind of ratty and I just wanted a new one and I don't know how this happened this might have been a purchase under the influence purchase under the influence um, but for some reason I saw these tactical vests <laughs> and for her 12 pound dog I the idea of it being on a 12 pound dog just Ugh, made me laugh so hard. So it's, I'm not kidding. It's like very like heavy, it's heavy duty. Can I feel it? Yeah. It's like a vest. Wow. Teddy. Yeah. Right, like there's some like, yeah. I like that handle here. You can literally lift them. Exactly, so it has a handle here, it has a clip on the back, and then it also has a clip on the front. Nice. So I've been wanting to start walking Ted with a clip on the front, cause he's a little rat bastard and he loves to try and like, yank yeah. and so i want him to yank himself instead of yanking me the real big feature of this the like the really big selling feature is that it has velcro on the back mm -hmm. and the people of the internet are just so delightful and i went on etsy most times and i found a patch that says surviving out of spite yep oh did you buy it not yet because I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. Um, and so instead of being like service dog or like service dog in training, fucking surviving yes, right. right. on this badass little yep. Ooh, it just makes me laugh vest. so hard. Caitlin and I both have very old dogs. Barkley is 13 and he has had dental surgery in the past. So he's had four teeth removed on the bottom. It's really the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is really cute. And you thought he was gonna be ugly. Oh um, no, it's so cute, it's little tut. <laughs> that's the front four bottom ones it's really sad um so when we had his teeth cleaned the vet said to keep up on things you could just brush his teeth which we're uh, uh, admittedly not very good at i've never in my life we have a friend that used to brush her dog's teeth every day and when i asked the vet how often i should be doing it she said ideally every day uh -huh. like a human uh-huh so 
Something that I use that was recommended and given to me by my vet after Barclays $1,500 operation was the Vetra Science Perio Support daily supplement that you sprinkle onto their dog food to help with dental health. Yeah. So there are things in here to help with breath. There are also things in here to help with enamel. They suggest that you use this in between their dental appointments, which in Barclays case, he might just have that one. I, you know, who knows? So I'm we call it his magic dust. My dog's 12 years old. I'm not putting a no. It looks like nutritional yeast flakes. I'm we sorry, call it, yeah. we call it magic dust. And Barkley has gotten to the point where he won't eat his food unless the magic dust gets put on it. And he has to see it. He will nudge, he'll nudge um, his bowl or the storage container that we keep his food in. He'll nudge it to be like, where's my sprinkles? Lady, lady. So I bought multiple of them. They're actually not expensive. I thought they were going to be really pricey because it's, it's like a very official vet thing. And you can use it for cats. So if you have cats, you can use it for them too. Barkley loves it, Teddy loves it. Yes, I started using it for Teddy and he very much likes it. I absolutely notice a difference in his breath. Yeah. It's, bear it's bearable. It's not like there would be times where it'd be like, yes. oh, like, yikes. Really dead animal-y. Yeah, no, now it's just like not it's bad. Better. So it tells you how much to sprinkle on their food depending on their weight. I just go bloop, 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 magic dust, um, angel dust. Angel dust. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of that movie. Uh -huh. um, but I, I, I like it because it's vet recommended. I can find it on Amazon for cheaper than I can get it at my veterinarian's office. Oh, they actually sell it at your veterinarian's office. They do indeed. Oh, I would say that that is a very legit product then. Yeah. Magic dust. When it starts to get dark out at the end of the year, I just am so sad. It just oh. makes me, un it's unbearable to me, the darkness. And <laughs> so normally I have like shitloads of twinkle lights everywhere, but my twinkle lights just died. And I decided that that was tacky and I wasn't going to keep doing it. There is a dark area of my room sort of over by my door and I have like plants over there. So I really like the stuff and I have a stained glass little thing. Um, so I decided I wanted to light it up and I don't know how or why I ended up here. Yes, I do. I found a lamp that looked exactly like this. It may, I'll be honest, be the exact lamp on Urban Outfitters. Oh. And yeah. I thought, except it was yellow, and I thought it was really, really cute, And mm -hmm. I, but it was like 60 bucks. And I was like, that's kind of crazy for a lamp. Um, a tiny lamp. And unfortunately, they did not have the yellow color. They did have other colors, but not yellow. Um, but I got this one instead, and so I put okay. it just on my, it sits like between two plants, and it just casts this really nice glow. The one problem is that the bulb that came with it was broken. Mm -hmm. um, and so I bought a replacement bulb, but I bought one that has three settings. light settings. And so you know I like to put everything on a timer. Mm -hmm. So you can't put a three setting bulb on a timer because it just clicks through the three. It like, it doesn't work. Yeah. But yeah, here I'll play one as, I was gonna say, is it a warm light or a cool light? I got warm light. This bulb is still too bright. It's okay. <gasps> no, I love it. It's like me, this is like the way to do the look of a lava lamp without having a lava lamp. Yes, it's like a glow worm almost. Um, but it just, yeah, it just- It reminds me of my mushrooms. It just gives a really nice, like soft light. I like that it's so, like not, all of my other lamps are like metallic, like I love metal it. with a, a shade. And yeah, this just adds something extra, I think. That's really cute, Caitlin. Thank you. I really like it. I do have another bag to show you and if you are a person of the internet and you find yourself easily influenced and you do a lot of traveling you've probably heard people talk about the cow pack bags of oh. the cow pack duffels which I tried to get and there was a wait list and I thought no, I'm not really? waiting I'm not waiting for this bag first of all it's also almost a hundred dollars mm -hmm. let me see if I can find an alternative so I went to Amazon and when I tell you I found the alternative of all alternatives, this is it. It's a plain black bag that is considered carry-on size, but also will fit under the seat of an airplane, so it can also mm -hmm. be a personal item. It has the sleeve right here that allows you to put it over top of your luggage handle, so you can just You're roll suitcase. right on through the airport. It has tons of pockets on the outside. It has tons of pockets and dividers on the inside. Oh. Some are zipper, some are elastic. I have used this to travel internationally twice this year. I'm also going in a couple of weeks again, and I'm just so happy that I have something like this to take because it's not a designer bag, it's not fussy, it's just a decent bag that holds everything I need. So like passports, 
my empty water bottle, mm -hmm. my Kindle, all of my chargers and electronics. There are enough pockets in here to keep them separate so they don't get tangled. And I'm just so pleased with it because I saved like $60. Mm -hmm. And they had other colors. I have no complaints. Adjustable, I've worn it over my shoulder. It's comfortable that way. This is just like not that interesting, but oh, I'm interested. Both me and my dog are a slob. And so I went ahead and bought this silicone mat yeah. that the bowls live on. And so now it doesn't go everywhere. I can just like wipe it. Like that's what all I did this morning was I just ran it underwater and wiped it down. Can Obviously. you put it in the dishwasher? I would assume that you can. I'm sure it tells me in the description. I'm, I don't see why not. Yeah. I like that it's able to be rolled up like that. Yeah. I like that it rolls up. But so yeah. So like when my dog's drippy face like blah blah blah. blah. And we have hairy dogs. Yeah. We have with like beards. whiskers and beards. So yeah, this is just, it's great. It just helps me. So when he, also he likes to pick food out of his mm. bowl. And so he'll like leave them on the ground. And so this makes it, I can literally just like move the bowl, the bowls off and like dump. Yeah. Um, so very happy with it. I, yeah, it was very inexpensive and I think they had other colors. Cute. Speaking of practicality and also just the I funnest have, tool. What is this? A flashlight? <laughs> the funnest tool of life. I got myself one and I bought my mother one because last Christmas I thought, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Have you ever seen those moms who can like roll out a roll of wrapping paper and take the scissors and go, <laughs> yep, my mother. Yeah, so a lot of moms can do that. It's like a mom talent, but some paper doesn't really <laughs> oh, fuck work that. well for that. So I got the little elf patent pending wrapping paper cutter. And when I tell you, oh, it's magical. I think I'm gonna do a demo and I'm gonna put it in the video. I because want, I want one. This fits over a wrapping paper roll. A standard so it, wrapping paper. So it can, paper. yeah, it can hold it together. Uh, although I, that's not how I store it. But in here, in this little crack, there is a sharp razor blade. And so what you do is you roll out your paper and you put this opening into the paper and you slide up and it is like butter. <laughs> straightest, crispest, easiest line. It makes me want to wrap presents and the sound. Yeah. And it makes, it's really good. Mm. So I don't remember how I discovered this, but it's just one of those tools that you don't need it, but it really is. It just makes your life easier. Yeah. And I can cut pieces into littler sections and they're always perfectly square. Oh, that's nice. It's just, there's no like jagged edges anymore. Yep. I love that. Really cute. Little elf. Little elf. So um, Danielle and I have been renting clothing from Newly and mm -hmm. Armoire. And for some reason, I like don't want to mix them into my closet. Same. And so I've been like, they've been just like laying on a chair or whatever. So I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a rack. I have one in my Amazon cart. And I bought myself. What if it's the same? It's one? like a 30 inch rack. Oh my God, will you send me the link? Yeah. So it's kind of a like mission style, I would say. It's got, it's brown. All of my other furniture is white. So I was excited to be able to incorporate a different type of wood into my room. First of all, I just feel like it makes my room look so nice. It's somehow just- That's what I need. Like, it's somehow just like escalated my rooms lately. Because it's like decor, because you get to highlight your beautiful clothing. Right. So it showed up flat packed. Um, it was in like five pieces. I put it together myself. It didn't take long at all. So it's just nice because it keeps me from junking up downstairs with coats and then also like stuff getting lost because that happened to me once. I actually forgot to return a pair of pants because they were in my laundry basket and just like the whole thing. Yeah. So um, I really, really like it. I'm happy I got it. I'm really glad you said that because I've been thinking the same thing. I have hanging racks on the back of my door in my office and on my wall and I use those for all of my stuff, but they're like stacked over top of each yeah. other. And I just want them out. Yeah, I really like them. I want to steam everything at once and yeah. then just like have it ready. <sighs> Listen, y'all. Listen. Tis the season for a little holly jolly merry time, okay? Yeah. You know, you might have an extra cocktail or four at a holiday party. You never know what's gonna happen. Your ex might be there. I don't know. Relations. Whatever. Whatever you gotta do to get you through. Maybe you're spending the holidays with your family. Um, love you family, but you know, it's just, it's always stressful. I don't care what anyone says, it's stressful. Yeah, no, it's for sure. Like it is. So, Caitlin and I have drank significantly less in the year 2022, and oh, while for sure. I am Crazy. so thrilled about it, there have been times where I felt like, oh, probably shouldn't have had that last drink. Well, I now feel shittier. 
yes. and I drink, which is like, like love it, that hate helps. it. You know, we were getting ready to go celebrate and yes. we were like, if there is a party that's basically in our honor, um, yeah. we're probably going to fuck it up. We didn't get too crazy. No, no, not at all. I, I don't even think I felt bad the next day. So yeah, could you stay the night and then we went shopping. It was fun. Oh yeah. So ahead of that, I was like, I'm going to surprise Caitlin. I'm buying these things called Cheers Restore After Alcohol Aid Dietary Supplements because I had heard someone online talking about them and I read the reviews and people were like, while I still might have a little bit of a hangover, it is nothing like it would have been. Apparently I need those for, for a sip and paint and not our best of part party. Oh yeah. Apparently. <laughs> apparently I drank more at a sip and paint. But that man was walking around refilling glasses. He was. Um, okay. So I bought them. <laughs> they were, I think in the $30 range. Mm -hmm. And what you're supposed to do is take three capsules after your last drink of the day or night or whatever. And then you go to bed and you're supposed to wake up and it's just basically it's injecting you with a lot of vitamin B and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. It says here's it's science. What this does is reduces GABA, rebound and increases as a, I don't know, metabolism after alcohol consumption to support your liver and help you feel better the next day. The ingredients are like vitamin C, vitamin E, thiamine, vitamin B6 and 12 and sodium and potassium and milk thistle and prickly pear and ginger. Oh, that ginger feeling like nausea, stuff yeah. like that. They don't have a bad taste. I've used them like three times and it kind of smells like a Veda. It smells like a bath. It smells a little citric acidy. Yeah, it's like citrusy and medicinal. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't have a taste. They don't make me feel weird or anything. But I do think they do a little bit to take the edge off of a yucky hangover. Yeah. It's almost New Year's. <laughs> yes. Saying. I agree. Just saying. Okay, I will also go then into like a, re a recovery product or a wellness product. Okay. I actually didn't buy this. This was, uh, I won it in my work white elephant last year. Here, hold it. Is that helpful? I, I have. No. Um, I won it in my. Sound Shattered. So the well, what would you do? If it just. So when I'm at work, I drink uh, over 100 ounces of water every single day. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets cold, then those ounces become tea. And so I just have so much going all the time. And my horrible habit was that the kettle is in the kitchen. And then I would like, I also use le loose leaf. So it uh -huh. has to steep. And so I would like make the tea and then it would sit in the kitchen for hours. And then I would remember finally and go get it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, fuck that. I need the tea to come to me. And so I whipped this out and started using it and I loved it. But then the only problem was that it's thin glass. And so it gets kind of cold um, pretty quickly. And so what I did was I went out, bought myself a mug warmer. So these are both from Amazon. The great thing about this is that it's a flat glass bottom. So then you have max contact with your mug warmer. Can I ask a stupid question? Of course. Are you boiling water and putting it in there or are you heating this on a stove? I am boiling water and putting okay, it in there. Okay, because I was going to say, I feel like it's way too thin of glass. We have a full on like kettle. Okay. That I heat up and then I make all the tea in there. Got it. So this little mug warmer, I liked this one because it was wider. Mm -hmm. So a lot of mug warmers are smaller and for made. Like a cup. Yeah, and like only made for a bottom like this. This one is big enough that my teapot fully sits on it. And so then it just keeps my tea hot. This is your 30s, you guys. Honestly. So um, it has two settings. So it's got like a, a warm and then a hot. And then it has an auto shut off function, I think. You Lovely. just wipe it with a rag. like. So are you putting like a sort of tea ball in there to hold your loose leaf? So I actually use a like a tea basket. So okay. it sits on the edge and that steeps in. Did that come with it or you bought it separately? That I happened, I think it's like from life. I don't know. Yeah, because they gave you tea bags with it. Okay. Um, That's cute. Yeah, and so it holds four cups. I have talked about this before. Yes. Which is my Kindle remote. <laughs> I can't talk about it enough. Here no, it is, really, once genuinely. again, $32, best money I've spent in a long time, rechargeable. You don't even have to put batteries in. You just charge this fucker up and then you put it on your Kindle and there's these little like sensors, sensors here that make connection with your Kindle. And then you just can lay under the covers and then just hit the button and the page turns. It's, 
it just makes my slug life dreams come true. Okay, so, you know, I forgot about slug life. <laughs> I'm always team slug life. I forgot slug life. That used to be one of our things. I've encouraged a lot of other avid readers to also get it and they also love it. But when I tell you that I have elevated my lazy girl reading game to the next level, <laughs> I mean that literally. Because not only will I not be turning the pages physically, she will not be turning any pages. I will not even be holding the Kindle. <laughs> Ugh. Because this goes on my nightstand. <laughs> did you really? I did! And it's a gooseneck thing. It can hold your tablet, it can hold your Kindle, it can even hold um, your phone if you put it in, you know, this way. And it just holds my Kindle and I can lay on my side, y'all, under the covers. Hold this little thing under there with me and just be like, boop, boop. And I don't have to do anything. It's. It is the best. So if you are a reader, or if you have a reader in your life, and maybe they like the cozy cozy, like, you know, it's getting cold outside. Mm -hmm. This is it. The other thing, I could also take it into my basement and put it on a TV tray and lay on the couch and read. <laughs> on your coffee table and if, blue. If you blue, think I'm anywhere. not doing any of those things, you're extremely mistaken. The next step though is taking it in public. <laughs> I dare you to go to like put a it park. in a bar. Or <gasps> Yes, God, could you imagine if you walked in so and someone was drinking out of the bar and was like, I just don't like to hold things. No, you'd have to be drinking out of your drink with a straw and just doing this. So because you and you just say you don't use your hands. So like while I know that could be silly to some. It is absolutely silly. I it makes me very, very happy. Yeah. And it's just, you know, like I wanna That's... be as snug as a bug in a rug. And my hands out holding things isn't how I do that. <laughs> Totally. So you, true. What do you do? Absolutely. Hold it with your hands? <laughs> How do you read? Do you hold it with your hands? I see it with my eyes. But I hold it in my... Nope. Don't hold it anymore. <laughs> no. So then you can masturbate and read at the same time. Oh my god. For the masturbator in your life. Because you, you also just put your phone in exactly. it. Exactly. Comment down below if you bought that thing to masturbate hands free. <laughs> my house and be like oh okay okay we gotta wrap this one up if this is your first video welcome you can expect more of this in other videos yes if this is kooky uh amazon is how a lot of you guys find us so welcome if this is your first time we do a lot of uh silly silly content uh skincare beauty fashion women's health women's health all the things it's mostly just shitting the shit with your friend what's the weirdest thing you've ever bought off amazon yes that's a great one yeah comment like mistakes yes Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. Watch all of them. And tell us what the weirdest thing you've ever bought on Amazon is. That's what I, okay, so that's um, when I discovered this issue because now I have to look. So many temporary tattoos. So much cod liver oil. Okay, it's. <laughs> okay, cod liver oil, that's, that's a good one. Honestly, once I started, apparently once I came to Baltimore is when my, oh my God, I, when I bought my selfie stick. So fucking. Where weird. are these shoes? Do you remember that um, foaming mask that we tried? Yes, the bubble thing. That was funny. Okay, so that's it. So uh, buy all of our shit. Yeah, and use our links. Yeah, they're all down below. They are. They're affiliate so links. Easy. We make like three cents for everything you buy. But it is worth it. It is. We thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. And cut it. Sandwiches.